see what do we got here. Nope, not that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What are you doing? You have literally been there for one minute just staring at the fridge. Pues no hay nada de tragar. So you're gonna tell me que no hay nada de tragar in the fridge? Nada? Onta? Ver. Not even in this house? Pues no sé, pero aquí no hay nada. Okay, I'm gonna show you right now that there's legit something to make. A ver. Okay? A ver. All right. Vamos, pues, here. vamos, fierro. Fierro, vámonos. Hey. Oh, no. ¿Qué traes? That was so painful, I couldn't even. Papa squat. Right. That was my idea, sorry. It was, and it wasn't it the best idea. Pero hola. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Good whatever. morning for us, especially for him. Hell As yeah. you can see. I woke up hungry. Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> so apparently he's hungry, and it's the same fucking argument all the damn time. Que no hay nada de tragar en esta casa. So. Today it's going to be a little bit of education 101 para acá el señorón, el Randy, because I know for a fact there's literally something to eat here that can be healthy mm. and Mexican. And we all, come on, toda la raza nos gusta pues un platillo bien rico for breakfast que sea algo mexicano, si o no, con chile. Sí, sí, sí. Pues cosas. Chilito, chilito. Sí. Chilito. 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 Yes, sir. Que no mate el chile. Okay. A ver. So. Mm -hmm. I want you to go in the fridge. Wait, first of all, what are three ingredients que cada casa mexicana tiene, tiene que tener? El culé. El, no, el culé no. No? Oh. No. <coughs> La arroz. Okay, sí, siempre tiene que haber, siempre, okay, that's a no brainer. There's uh -huh. always going to be arroz y frijoles, and that's the thing. La gente siempre dice like, oh, dude, there isn't nothing to eat. No hay nada de tragar en la casa. Si no hay carnita, no hay nada de tragar. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's not always about pinche carne. And how are we going to be eating carne for breakfast first thing in the morning? No, pues que ahora estamos como estamos. No, algo ligerito, something good. So the three ingredients there always has to be in a Mexican house, aside from las tortillas, frijol y arroz. That's like the cheapest. That's what I'm saying. Like, And there's no damn excuse of saying like, oh, in order for you to eat something, you have to spend a lot of money. No, because una bolsa de frijol cuesta like four bucks. The generic brand, like two dollars. So anyways, so cebolla, jitomate, y el... Chile. El chile. Okay. <laughs> there always has to be chile. So I'm going to challenge you right now. I want okay. you to get me some tomatoes y chile de tu gusto. Fierro. A ver. Vamos a pasarle por aquí. ¿Quieres el chilote, mi amor? Ahí está va. Agárrame el chile. Okay. Hey, espérate. <laughs> Mira, mi amor, chiquito pero picoso. Okay, there's different. Okay, that's good. Pero we have no. right. Okay, there's right. No hay tomate, nomás hay uno. Oh, acá está otro. Okay, good. No, this is enough. Así con estos dos ajustamos. ¿Quieres más? Jalapeño, cebolla, cilantro. No. no. Pero necesito que agarres otra cosa. ¿Qué? Okay. Enséñame los huevos. ¿Y ahorita aquí? <laughs> Los huevos! Oh. Enséñame los huevos! Oh. ¡Tarán! Ok, hay que sacar. ¿Cuántos? Uno, seis. ¿Seis? Seis. Fierro. Traes apetito, mi amor, tú. <risa> Seguramente tú no. <risa> con cuatro, ¿no? Cinco. Ok, cinco. Ok. Es mucho huevo. Pero mira. Vamos a andar con todos los huevos. Hay que educar aquí a la gente. Este es un chilote y este es un chile, un chilito. Y obvio, nos falta el jalapeño. Y aunque este se ve grandotote, uno ha de pensar que está picosote. But it's not. it's not. El serrano is the spiciest chile in between el Anaheim, el jalapeño y el serrano. Mm -hmm. So toma, mi amor. <laughs> Get the chile. Oh. Okay, so what we're going to do is, look. For breakfast, there, everybody loves eggs. Well, majority of people do, right? But we all know that the yolk has a lot of cholesterol, all that bad type of fat, right? Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 
an egg white, como una torta, but with only egg white. Mm. And we're going to go ahead and drench it in un chingazo de chile. Oh, I got you, got okay? you, got you, got you. So sometimes the thing is, like, it's really hard for people to think outside of the box because right away it's like you expect like, fuck, there's nothing to eat. Like, what am I going to eat? And it's true. A typical oh. Mexican household, it's like siempre tiene que haber carne for you to make something. But it doesn't always have to be like that. Like, you can still make a bomb ass meal and yeah, and it's like the bare minimum eggs. Con chile. Con un, pues con chile, tomate, vamos a hacer una salsa bien rica. Y eh, los, frijol, los frijolitos que no faltan. Sí, pero eso nunca debe de faltar. El quesito fresquito. También, también. And here's la the thing. Okay, yes. Oh, oh. Espérate, pues. Ya I know, I know. Just let me go. Okay, so the thing is, siempre tiene que haber frijoles. All the damn time. Si no hay, si no las, los tienes hechos, pues de lata. I mean, there's, we also get the black beans, organic black beans, those are fucking good. You know what I mean? But always in un tupperware, always have some, egg, or some eggs, have some beans, have whatever, but always have them on hand because con eso unos pinches frijoles, unos frijoles fritos, que una en frijoladas, there's always something you can do. Okay, so let's get going. So the first things first is what we're going to do is we're going to get those tomatoes and we're going to roast them. What do you want to do with these? You want to crack them? Yeah. Oh. Hold that thought. Oh. Okay. So first things first, we're gonna get los serranos. We're gonna get. We'll grab more right now. Serranos. Yes. We'll grab some more out of the fridge. Tomates. Y los tomates. Yes. And we're going to grill them in el comal. So next, let's go ahead and crack our eggs. We're only gonna use the egg white, but before that, mm. obvio, we're not gonna use the yolk. So get a trash bag. Pues <laughs> and, and here's the thing. Si o no es verdad. En cada casa. Mexicana, siempre there's a stash of like plastic bags. So I have my stash. So I always like to use these. Ya sé que va a haber alguien que nos va a criticar. Like, oh my God, Think Green. I know. I'm cracking. sorry, but. You start cracking. Okay, start cracking. So egg whites, right? Yes. Check this out though. All, this is how I separate my, my egg white from the yolk. Confessions. I would crack the eggs, pero neta, neta, with this pregnancy, I can't even fuck with egg at all right now. So, sorry guys, I'm not gonna do it. But Randy is. Mira. That's good. You know, you know what my mom used to do? Pichi calidad chef aquí, mira, 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 mira. So, my mom, she would crack these eggs. Uh -huh. And también she would do like the egg whites, but she would save the egg yolk for the cats and the dogs. Y se los daba, and I guess she would say, que les crecía el pelo más. <laughs> But I'm like, you lying, mom. Like, I feel like the only reason you would save them was porque a mi mom, pues nunca le gusta desperdiciar. You pues know sí. that shit, you know, so. Okay. So yeah, like overall, I mean, like the yolk is not bad okay. if you have like, let's say two egg whites and a yolk. I mean like a whole egg. But the thing is, nos pasamos. Like, is it, would it be really the healthiest thing to eat five eggs with the yolk? If you are trying sí, to watch, rico, I know, but like no. if you're trying to watch what you eat, if you have. Así los over medium, así. Ew, that is. Oh my God. Mm. Oh. So Randy mm. loves his mm. eggs like sunny side up, or I see like where the yolk is like there, but then like if you can dip like a tortilla or you bite it, it like runs out. It's all runny. I cannot. The second he orders eggs like that, if we go out to eat, I can't even watch him bite into it. Do I, uh, I, oh. It? No, you don't have to. No. No salt, no pepper, no? No. Just well, because plant. here, yeah, because here's the thing. We'll add non-stick spray to the pan. And then we'll make our chilito. And then el chile, that we'll add the salt there. So it's like, why add double salt if you don't have to fucking add salt? Got you, got you. know? You. So let me go ahead and grab the, um, the cazuela. Claro. Si? Ay, wait. Si puedo, te ayudo. No, I got it. Okay. No quiero que la gente me critique de mis cazuelas. No, I know, but. Antes de que te casaras conmigo, ya traía esas cazuelitas. Sí, pero they were never used. This all happened once before you married. So here's the thing, like, do you girls have a pan that you absolutely love that you just cannot get rid of? Because you know, like, something about it just, it's, it's something magical. I don't know, con esta. Mm -hmm. Se te quema todo. <laughs> No se me quema nada, and it's non-stick. I just love it. Okay, so we're gonna go grab our pan. The chiles and the tomatoes are almost done, si o no? They're ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and cook our egg. Okay, so follow me. Okay, so put our pan. Pero para qué me preguntas si esta madre no jala? ¿Da vergüenza o qué? La madre le da vergüenza porque 
No, no this is what he did. Let's explain the story. So we bought this and when we got home, we opened it, we're like, fuck, it doesn't have the, okay. the whatever, this part. So I didn't want to use it anymore. So what he did was he hit the other nonstick spray and he used the other freaking. Yeah, so what I did is I grabbed. Oh, there it is. I grabbed this one and just switch out the now. Yeah, so but now estamos batallando. Okay, dale pues, toma. A ver, dale pues, dale, dale, dale. Entonces mira, moa. A ver. It's worked as magic. Yeah, it doesn't fit, but. A ver. Shit, I mean, there's still oil in there. <laughs> Wait, eh? What? No, that's all air. There's no, no, nothing. Espérate, espérate. Ahí está, Dale. Ahí está, eh? Look at that. Espérate, pues ahí va, poco a poquito. Ahí está, era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the oils are turning dark. Wait, wait. Go. Yeah, yes. Okay, so, tu to... Qué bonito chilla eso, eh. Toma. Tu has tu torta. Ay, God. Okay, so in the meantime, while you move that, I'm gonna grab the blender so we can blend our chile right here, okay? Yeah. Now, <clears throat> we're going to make our chile for the egg. So we get our roasted tomatoes. We get our serranos. No, pero vas a ver, va a salir bien ricachón. Okay, so and then we're gonna add water. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. So with this chile that we're gonna make for the huevo, hay que echarle a good amount of water because you want it to be more liquidy, not so dense, you know? So I would say if this is... No, no, echar ajo. Okay, yeah, let's do ajo too. Uno sabe que con el ajo, muy medicinal, no? Se la me va a la chef. No, this is improvising. Tío, no. ¿Con cuántos? No, no, pues lo que te guste, el tanteo del gusto, ¿no? Well, ajo. sí, a mí me gusta un chingo de ajo. We'll do two. Chale, chale. We'll do, let's just do two. All right. Y luego, we'll start with a little bit of consomé. I know there's so many opinions with consomé. Isn't oh. it better with salt and oil consomé at the end? Okay. Let's do that. Let me grab the salt. Esta chef. No, pues tú me estás diciendo también. This is teamwork does the dream, dream work. work. Okay, so let's just do a little bit. Okay, poquita sal. Consume es más para el sabor. Okay, pues. And we blend. All right. Okay, perfect. You're beautiful. Al rato me lo vas a apagar, eh? Okay. So our chile is ready. And now what we have to do is just go put it on our egg whites. Put it in the... Este huevito ya está irá. Yeah. Era, era, era. Eh? Perfect. Okay, so put it, let's put it on low. And look, all we do... Yes. Look at this. You see how much chile se hace? <coughs> oh shit. <laughs> God damn. Va a salir super spicy. Because, Wait know. for me. <laughs> so let's put the comal back on and let me <coughs> fucking a. Let me grab unas tortillas and I want to show you something. Education 101 again. Or you grab, grab the low carb uh, flour tortillas. Lower carb. So, is this it? No, no, las otras. I always say this <clears throat> on my social media. Obviously, I don't need There's low always carb, so healthier. Oh, Akira. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's low carb? So, I always say that? this on my social media. <clears throat> there is always a healthier choice. That's the thing. I can't tell you, like, everything I make is like, super low carb, like one gram of carb, one gram of fat, one gram of whatever. No, what I'm trying to tell you is no matter when you are cooking, 
especially Mexican food, siempre there's always a healthier choice. And the thing is, everybody makes it out to, are you being serious right now? Oh, I'm listening, go for it. I'm trying to be healthy. Yeah, but oh my God, wow, okay. So there's always a healthier choice. I got these at my local HEB. I love HEB. So these are the low carb flour tortilla. So you're still eating a flour tortilla, ladies, comadres, compadres, but you're just being healthier. The, so this one only has 15 grams of carb. Usually the average flour tortilla has like 25, sometimes even 30. So this is our healthier choice, okay? Can you tell me we've been eating healthy tortillas? No. Not I mean, all. I didn't notice, so that's what I like. You said a low carb, but like, what's a low carb? Well, see, the thing is, we always stick to corn. Corn's always healthier than flour. Mm. So, but uh, this is, you know, for breakfast, you kind of want like a flour tortilla. Yeah. So we're gonna use that. And let me show you all one more thing. Para que vean, siempre, siempre, tiene que haber frijoles hechos or if you have them in the fridge just warm them up i've already had these i made these yesterday but you just got to warm them up and that's it okay so all we have to do is taste the test yes taste it so señorito Let me grab a spoon. randy will be the taster it tastes good it tastes the same Pero obvio le va a faltar. <coughs> sí. No le falta sal. ¿Sal o consumé? Pues esa madre, échale esa madre. Ok, so let's move this. And like I said, I know there's a lot of opinions with consumé. It's not the healthiest, but we're talking traditional Mexican plates and unfortunately. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I can't even talk right now because it's bien picoso, but it's going to be good. Why is this, this not healthy though? Well, it's just like the ingredients are in it. You know, there's just always a healthier choice. A lot of people are against it, but in all honesty, I'm never going to stop using it. I respect <clears throat> when I get those comments and those DMs from Las Comadres saying like, hey, like, did you know they're not better? Oh yeah, here, try it now. Fuck, that's good. That is so fucking good. Mm. Shit. This chile is what makes this whole breakfast. It's so delicious. So our tortillas warming up, our eggs are pretty much done. Our beans are there. So you wanted some queso fresco, right? I? Yeah, 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 there is. So it's a balanced meal because el queso fresco will treat it as a fat. So we have our healthy carbs. Mm. We have our protein, our egg whites. Si le falta, le faltaba. <laughs> And we have our beans a little bit more carbs, it's okay. The thing is, some people might say like, oh, carbs on carbs. The thing is, you're just gonna add a little bit of beans. No le vas a echar un pinche chingas, it's just gonna be a little bit. Let me grab the plate, and no te cortes un dedo, because I know you're cutting the cheese. No, but this Un pedacito. One. Pedacito? Yeah. That's good, right? Pedacito. Este pedacito está bueno para mí. Okay. Así va, un pedacito. Are you being serious right now? Oh, you said a little bit of queso, no? But it's not me, o sea. I mean, okay, in your brain right now, do you really think that's an appropriate size? Yeah, un pedacito. Papá, es que para cualquier gente, un pedacito es diferente, o sea. Es universal, ¿sí me entiendes? No, a small little piece, pedacito. Entonces, como por aquí. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this one! Oh, shit! What the fuck? Nah, esto no es nada. Esto es pinche pobreza, ¿qué? Question, ¿quieres burrito o quieres plato? No, un platito así, para pa zambutirlo así. Ok. Una tortillita así. Alright, so un let's do platito. this. Fue sucio, no, man. So, perrizo, Randy is going to eat his eggs, like I said. I haven't been able to fuck with eggs, so... We're gonna add some chile. Y luego también los frijoles. We'll use the same spoon. Bam. Y luego la tortillona. Toma. Ay. Vámonos para allá. Vámonos. Aquí. So the dish is done. And now 
It's time for you to taste. Oh, llegó el número bueno. A ver, Vamos you be the judge. Vamos a hacer un, un half a burrito. Okay. Vamos a agarrar los frijolitos. Ajá, uh -huh. los frijoles. Ay, güey. Sobre. Y para que sepan, lo más se va a poder comer una tortilla, ¿ok? Su respectivo huevito. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pedacito de quesito. A ver. Yeah, grab your... A ver, try it and tell me what you think. A ver. No, hombre. Morirían aquí. Está bruto. Yes? Bounce Okay. So you tell me this is healthy? Yes. No way. Yes, because look. Bro. Egg whites, not the whole egg. Boiled beans, as they're not refried. We used non-stick spray. And un pedacito de queso. It's not going to do you any harm. Right here, this meal, even with this flour tortilla, no lie, it's under 500 calories. So let's go back to what you were saying in the morning with, when you woke up. Que no había nada de tragar. I'll take that back. I'll take that back. The moral of this video that I want to share with all of you is that let's not make fucking excuses to go out and eat. Because maybe you could have gone to a Mexican restaurant, but guaranteed it's not as healthy healthy as you cooking it at home. Yep. And as long as you have, I guess you have chile, jitomate, yeah. cebolla. Chile, jitomate, cebolla. You're good. Con Fred Oh, no. This isn't como <laughs> You're not good, bad. you know? And like I said, Always have your beans. A bag of beans costs like three bucks. The chili, everything is not expensive. You don't have to. Okay. Su respectivo cocón. No. Okay, that's what we're not going to do right now. No. You have to just learn how to change your eating, change your way of thinking, and you're going to be okay. But for real, like, is this delicious or not? Yeah, so this was our little no hay nada de tragar en la pinche casa. <laughs> yes, there is. Y nos ahorramos like 30 bucks at least. So we really hope you enjoy this cooking video with Mayra y el Randy. Because I know I am. He's about to yeah, fuck this up. Mm -hmm. And comment below. Let us know if you like this, if you want to see something more complex. Because we can fucking get down. We did great together today. Team okay? Makes yeah, but no me hagas enojar. You know what I mean? Pastor. You, you're always. Next time, you know what? Oye, este beso. Le... What? No, es tu propio canal. Oh my god. Anyways, how about next time? Let let me know. Let Randy be the chef and let him cook something healthy for us. Oh, yes or no? I don't know about healthy, but I'll no, cook but I'll see. Know okay, let us you know. know. What I'm Some scripts. <laughs> we really Butter. hope. We really Steak. hope. What else? Okay. Yeah, okay, so we really hope you enjoyed this video with Mare El Randy. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Y pues hasta la próxima, parejeando with a little bit of a twist. Y pues, Excuse me. Y como siempre, los, los esperamos. esperamos. <laughs> yeah. Where? Okay. Well, next time, yeah, los esperamos yeah. next week. Fierro! Okay, that was good. That was good. Dale. <laughs>